Let's learn about Vasily Kandinsky. Can you hear this artwork? Russian painter Vasily Kandinsky certainly believed you could. Kandinsky was one of the pioneers of the abstract art movement, and his paintings were recognized for their bright colors, geometry, lines, and movement. He was one of the first painters whose artworks didn't focus on a particular person, place, or object. Instead, they were a seemingly random combination of colors and shapes, known as abstract art. Before Vasily Kandinsky, most artists painted scenes, objects, animals, and people, such as a landscape or still life, like these from the 1700s and 1800s. Art looked more like photographs. Here are two examples of paintings of the Red Square in Moscow, Russia. On the left, there is a realistic painting. On the right, an abstract painting of Red Square by Vasily Kandinsky. Do you see the difference between realistic and abstract? That's right, abstract art does not represent reality exactly as it's seen. But this was a brand new concept in the early 1900s, and it first appeared because of artists like Vasily Kandinsky. Kandinsky was born on December 16, 1866 in Moscow, Russia, and did not have the traditional education of an artist. Instead, he studied economics and law, receiving a law degree in 1892 and becoming a professor. However, his passion for art led him to enroll in the Academy of Fine Arts in Munich, Germany, where he studied painting and drawing from 1896 to 1900. Once Kandinsky became a professional artist, he experimented with different painting styles. They changed over the years, as it often does with artists, and his artworks became more and more abstract. Here are examples of his early paintings from 1902 and 1903. From left to right, there is a running horse, a woman bride, and a countryside town. Vasily Kandinsky's artworks weren't too abstract yet. Kandinsky believed that art should be more than just a depiction of reality and should instead evoke emotions and ideas. He believed artists should be free to explore and be creative with art, instead of simply painting exactly what they saw. He used bright, unrealistic colors to paint houses and towns. He then began with more geometric shapes, using lines and circles and overlapping them. He was very influenced by music and even depicted musical notes into his artworks. Here are two of Kandinsky's most recognized paintings. On the left, we have squares with concentric circles from 1913 and 10 years later, composition eight from 1923. Notice the artist's interest in geometric shapes. And an interesting fact, one of the reasons Kandinsky combined colors and music as he did was because the artist had synesthesia, which means that sometimes his senses would mix. He could actually hear colors and see sounds. Can you? Today, the artworks of Vasily Kandinsky can be seen in some of the world's most prestigious art museums, including the Museum of Modern Art in New York, the Tate Modern, and the Guggenheim Museum. Kandinsky had one of the most important roles in the development of abstract art and influenced scores of artists who came after him. Comic Kids is a nonprofit helping children in the community learn art through comics, cartoons, and books. To learn more, see our website at comickids.org and follow us on Instagram. For more videos like these, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.